Hi you guys, this is Unders and this is another episode of the Exploring Alchemy series. If you're watching the Exploring Alchemy series and you're going through it, previously we had a look at additive. Today we're going to have a look at using Alchemy as a sampler and a couple of the little benefits it has over the default sampler that used to come with Logic, the SX24, or even against loaded in things like Contact or maybe you're using FL Studio, Direct Wave and things like that. So if you like these videos guys, for the helping you out, please pop a like on the video for me, subscribe to the channel. Again, it helps me massively on building these up and doing more of them. Okay, so what I've done here is just a basic import of some samples, set some basic parameters and just give it a sound. It's just a, a chord pattern I've got running in the background. It's a, I'm pretty sure it's a free set of samples that came with a, a computer music magazine library. If you subscribe to any of those magazines or if you buy any sample packs, you quite often get the multi samples. And that's what I've worked with here, just to give you a really good idea of some of the things Alchemy lets you do. So let's have a real quick listen to it. Cool. So it's just a stringy chord stab and you'll notice about halfway through there's like a little pitch down wobble. Just done that using the legato and I'll show how we did that. So let's go file and clear. And we're leaving it up on great here because great sounded fine. Generally if I put things on ultra while I'm screen recording and recording my vocal, I get some glitches. It's better for you guys this way, but at home you might want to pop that up onto ultra. Not a huge difference when you're sampling, but it can take a little longer to process the samples and you'll see why in a sec. So first things first, you see on the right hand side, I've got the samples already. I've already chosen the multi samples that I'm going to drag and drop in. And you can see that they are all um, numbered and lettered by the key that they hit. A lot of times people just work from a C and spread that over an octave. These have got most parts of the octave to bring in. Now it's not important that they're named but it's important that we know what they are in this case because I'm going to show you a little bit of magic that alchemy can do. So let's go to the first oscillator up on here we're on global so we can just click on sort and we go import audio. Down the bottom here on the left right at the end we've got sampler. Now for what we're doing here we want to go mapping and leave that as pitch if you do drum, it effectively assigns the samples to different velocities based on what it detects and different keys depending on what it thinks is the the hit. So if you've got lots of kick drums or something it would detect as a kick and then different velocities of that, it will stack them so you can have them all on one key. We're going to look at that in another video. So for today we're leaving it on pitch. And in Logic, I'm able to just grab these samples from the side and drag them over. That's the same in Pro Tools, the same in FL Studio, Ableton, and Cubase, guys. You'll have to discover the best way to do that because I've never used. Now, once we've got these in here, this is where a little bit of magic happens with Alchemy. If we click Import, fab, so it's taking a moment there just to load them. We now go over here to A, we're going to click on that oscillator and we can see there's a sample loading. Fantastic. If we press play now. Cool. So we've got the basic idea. My chords are still there in MIDI in the background and we're remaking this. What's key, if we click on edit, we can see it's put the samples on the right notes. Now that's not because of the naming, that's the important thing here. A lot of things like contacts, um, I know Direct Wave when I used to use that would look for the sample naming and figure out where it's going to go. If we named all of these something different, it would still put these in the same place. Alchemy checks over the sample, figures out what the pitch is and then assigns it to the correct key. Now that is awesome. There are so many times when you, you've dragged some samples in or something like that and you're not sure what key they're on. This takes a moment to do it, but it detects what's doing it. That, that's amazing. I don't know another sampler that does it as well either. And yet this is a freebie we've had dropped into Logic. So that, that's all I want to really share in there. 
Um, key things down here, if you need to edit some of the samples, maybe you've got a click or pop something going on in one of them, use the zone bit down here and you can switch through each different sample and it will highlight which one you've got and show you the editor down the bottom here. You can also then customize its um, key, you can give it crossfades between others. If it's got multiple layers, you can then add another's on top so that it's velocity sensitive. But for now, we're just gonna drag this in and do this by default. Now, once we've got this set up, we can go to the little X up here, top right, close that. And we can do similar things like we were doing in the additive and like we were doing in the uh, subtractive sensor side of things. But what I've done here, because we've got a string, it's nice to have a little ramp in. I gave that sort of around here, around the 16 millisecond mark, and just broke that off. So it's a tiny little curve. And we'll drop the sustain down a little bit. So you sort of get like a ramp up with the strings and then it glides off. And a slightly longer release for what we've got going on here works quite nicely. There you go. So adding that little release, that will only work if you've got slightly longer samples. So you see how the, the sample is able to keep playing along that release. If you've got a really short sample in there, that release, it will just cut off at the end of the sample. But in this case, because we've got quite short little stabs, it lets us work quite nicely and have a nice gentle fade off and it gives a good dynamic to the, the stabby chords going on. Um, all I did from there was nip into effects. We're gonna go on, we're gonna go acoustic reverb. We bring the mix right down to around the 20% marker. We put the delay on as well. We put the delay rate to 16th on both sides. And we brought that right the way down to around the 15% marker. Awesome, right? It's that easy. Um, let's go. Do, do, do. Where are we? Um, let's see what else we've got multi sample wise. If there's anything else I can bring in. I don't know what we've got here. Nothing. I'll tell you what. Base Boutique, that's another free one. Multi samples. Let's change this. Let's do net pop finger base. Cool. So this is a huge by comparison. Let's grab all of those. And we're going to import audio and do the same thing again. Make sure we're still on sampler. Mapping this pitch. Import. Now this is going to take a little bit longer to process because it's figuring out what each sample contains and what note it should be on. Let's see how well it copes with something much bigger that covers a much larger dynamic. And uh, we'll just leave all the settings as they are. We'll hit play, see how it goes. Let's have a quick look in edit. Perfect. So it's giving us multiple layers there as well. So have a listen. That's a pretty horrendous mess. Let's pop it up an octave. There you go, you could trick that into being almost a plucky piano sound. And it was supposed to be a fingered bass. We drop that right down. Boom, sound design 101, experiment. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. We are going to look at using this to set up your drum samples next. So when you get a whole set of kicks, snares, hi-hats to get that all laid out on a keyboard so you can do a whole set of MIDI drums directly through Alchemy. It's going to be a slightly longer video. I might have to split it into two parts, but stay tuned. It's going to be happening every Sunday. Thank you very much. I don't waste time, I'm not a waste man Half of these artists move too big fam Make no mistake, I'm out to get paid Spread a place like tear gas in a rave Some of these 